Bulletin, a political fight has erupted after Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar appointed personal staff on 20 committees under the Rajya Sabha Secretariat's ambit. So there are some reactions that have also come to this, especially the opposition parties who call this uh, subversion and also an attempt to appropriate powers belonging to the Rajya Sabha Secretariat and also extending what they describe as the politics of patronage. The Congress party has described this as institutional subversion and has criticized the vice president for not relying on the existing staff of the Rajya Sabha secretariat and instead appointing members of his personal staff to uh, the offices concerned and the Congress party has said that this is very unbecoming of uh, the position of the vice president of India. लेकिन सीधे सीधे बिना किसी रूल के रेगुलेशन के आप उनको अपॉइंट कर दें और संसदीय समितियों में ये तो आज तक कम से कम मेरे ज़हन में मेरी याददाश्त में तो है नहीं जो संसदीय प्रणालियां हैं खासकर स्टैंडिंग कमेटी की जो प्रणालियां हैं उसमें विनम्रता से निवेदन करेंगे कि कोई भी चाहे उपराष्ट्रपति जी हो या कोई हो हस्तक्षेप न करें वो दिक्कत क्या हो गई है कि जंकर साहब एक समय में बीजेपी से संबंधित थे बीजेपी के नेता थे चुनकर आए लेकिन ये सब पार्टियों को मानना चाहिए कि जब आप संसदीय पदों पर आते हैं आप राष्ट्रपति बन जाते हैं उपराष्ट्रपति बन जाते हैं तब आप किसी दल के नहीं होते हैं आप सबके पूरे राष्ट्र के होते हैं और अगर उन, आपको लगता है कि उन्होंने कोई ऐसा काम किया है जिसमें उनसे आग्रह करना चाहिए कि ये काम आगे ना करें या इसको बदल दें तो पार्टी दल से ऊपर उठ के संविधान संवैधानिक परंपराओं को और प्रशासनिक परंपराओं को सामने रखकर ही सवाल करने और यह बात भी बन जाती है कि फिर राज्यसभा के सेक्रेटरी जनरल ने उनको परमिशन कैसे दी है काम करने की well, Sandeep Dixit isn't the only person from the Congress party who's criticized this particular move. So has Digvijay Singh, who's called uh, the move on the part of Mr. Dhankar as being completely unprecedented. Other opposition members of parliament have also taken this up. Let me go across to Mohit Bhatt for more on this. Mohit Bhatt, uh, uh, the BJP, of course, uh, is a party that is allergic to the concept of nepotism uh, as well as the politics of patronage, at least on the surface. It'll be interesting to see how they react to this specific allegation leveled against the vice president of India, an elected vice president, Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar, of appointing people on his personal staff to more than 20 standing committees. Well, you see, and we see the opposition reactions are pouring in where the Congress Party's MP Manish Siwari has questioned these appointments, saying that this is unprecedented, saying that if you need any help in the committees of Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha, you have the officials from the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha Secretariat, but perhaps for the first time, uh, the, the private staff of the Vice President has been included in these committees, and these, these private staffs include uh, the OSG uh, to, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, Vice President and also the private Secretary to the Vice President, and hence the questions are being raised. 20, 20 uh, committees are like that, Siddharth, where these officials have been attached. 12 of them are parliamentary standing committees, 8 are other committees. So okay. this is a serious allegation that has been leveled by the opposition party, specifically the Congress, saying that uh, chairperson is not is not the member of Rajya Sabha, and the committees uh, uh, are inclusive of the members of Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha. Then why these officials are being, are being used, to, are being attached to all these uh, parliamentary committees and they say that they will rake up this issue. Manish Tiwari also stated that the leaders from Rajya Sabha when the parliament commences on 13th of March will also be raising this particular issue. So we have not officially heard from the vice president's office on yes. these particular appointments but yes we see that the opposition parties are raising questions saying that why exactly the personal staff of the vice president is being attached to the parliamentary committees and the standing committees of the parliament which have nothing to do with this personal staff and the, uh, and the members should be Either, uh, from, uh, either the Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha MPs or okay. the officials from Rajya Sabha or Lok Sabha Secretariat. Well, if some they of the other critics of this specific move have also called it Mohit an abuse of power. Uh, let's also, in fact, listen into what uh, Mr. Manish Tiwari, Member of Parliament of the Congress from the state of Punjab, uh, has had to say uh, over the Vice President's decision. It's grossly unconstitutional and totally illegal. A vice president who's ex officio chairperson of the Council of States. In other words, because he is the vice president of India, and therefore he chairs the Council of States, uh, I do not think has either the authority or the power or even the legislation. Uh, what will happen is absolutely unprecedented. You cannot have a situation uh, whereby all the rules of parliament 
can be put aside. I am sure our colleagues in the Rajya Sabha and other political parties would take it up because this is a very serious matter. That the standing committees of the Rajya Sabha are not properly served by the Rajya Sabha Secretariat. Well, let me go across uh, once again to Mohit Bhatt, who's been tracking all the reactions. Mohit, uh, those are, of course, criticisms coming from the Congress party. But this isn't the first time that Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar has been at the receiving end of such allegations because when he was governor of uh, Bengal, the state of West Bengal, Mahua Mohitra, who's also a Lok Sabha member of parliament, had, in fact, raised similar allegations about how the Raj Bhavan in Kolkata was staffed with a lot of people very personally known to Mr. Dhankar and were part of his personal yeah. staff that he brought with him to the Raj Bhavan. Well. well, Chidat, yes, uh, in fact, when Jagdeep Dhankar was the governor of West Bengal, we saw that how, as you mentioned, Mahu Amitra and other TMC leaders came out and said that he had a huge staff in Raj Bhavan and uh, the person who, uh, the people who were close to Jagdeep Dhankar, this was being alleged by the TMC, were being appointed in Raj Bhavan and there was a huge there was a huge uh, workforce with Jagdeep Dhankar that was working in Raj Bhavan and that much amount of workforce was not required and it was unprecedented. These were the allegations earlier from the TMC. Now that again we see that how the personal staff of Jagdeep Dhankar including his OST, private secretary, additional uh, OST, additional private secretary, they have been attached to the 20 committees of the parliament and including 12 standing committees. And, they, and you know, remember, uh, standing committees are very, very important important in the functioning of parliament and uh, we see that various senior ministers various senior member of parliaments are part of those committees they are being uh, chaired they are being uh, presided by senior mps now the questions are being raised from the opposition parties that this has never ha happened before and i have happened to talk to various uh, uh, constitutional experts Siddhant, on this they said that this has never happened before they stated right. that the personal staff of the of, of absolutely we will have right. to of course keep tracking the reactions that come from the vice president's office we'll of course wait an official reaction from them as well as the Bharatiya Janta Party too. Uh, now, senior